Let's talk about the crossed aldol condensation. Aldol condensations happen when you mix aldehydes that have alpha protons or H atoms on the carbon next to the carbon that has the double bonded O, and then it will attack another copy of its own molecule to create a, a longer carbon chain with an OH group on the beta carbon of the chain. But what if we want to do that between two molecules? Well, we can do that in limited circumstances, and that limited circumstance is that one of them can't have any alpha protons. Here we have benzaldehyde. That's the carbon that has double bonded O, and the alpha carbon has a bond to this carbon and this carbon and two bonds to this carbon, of course, this is a resin structure, but bear with me. There's no room for any hydrogens here. There are no hydrogens here. There's nothing for the OH to rip off. So what we can do to get an aldol condensation product between these two is to simply have a beaker full of this or a flask or whatever of this and, and, and dilute NaOH. And drop wise, we're going to add this. Now what that means is, as he is added, he's going to react. When you add him to something that has NaOH, you rip that proton off, you end up with the conjugate base. Don't forget, there is a resonance structure like that. And because he is in such abundant supply, after all, you started with a flask full of him at NaOH and none of this. Form this as you drop, as it gets added drop wise, and immediately he's going to react with this because there's so much of him around. I'm going to show this resonance structure reacting with it. This negative charge will be attracted to that carbon. He's delta plus because he's attached to the oxygen, and that displaces the uh, double bond or pi bond electrons to the oxygen. We end up with this benzene here untouched. We have this oxygen, which now has a minus charge on him. And that carbon is attached to this carbon here. That's that bond. And he always had this double bonded oxygen carbon attached to him. Hey, we've already got the aldol condensation product. But the key was we started with only the aldehyde with no alpha protons in abundant supply and NaOH, no reaction between those two. And as soon as we add this guy, he will get deprotonated and attack one of these only because they're in such higher abundance than these guys. Cool. In any case, you know what happens from here in an aldol. There's a, some water around because we're using dilute NaOH that helps us form a OH group on the beta carbon. And given a few steps, we can do a dehydration reaction, remove this OH, remove one more of these alpha hydrogens, and we end up with an alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. Oh yes, and it's a crossed aldol reaction because we've taken two different aldehydes and made the magic happen. Now you go make the magic happen in your own organic course and make me a happy man. Best of luck to you.